Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. So, I haven't posted on this channel in like a year and a half to two years. Honestly, it feels longer than that. But I'm really excited to show you this today because it kind of scares me. Um, but ever since becoming the plant lady that I am and being as anxious as I am, I... I'm going to be doing a video all about the plant behind me, this giant begonia, and I'll show you a better idea of the size in a minute. We are going to be cutting back this thing and propagating the cuttings to make a fuller, more beautiful plant, hopefully, in the future, and I'm really excited about it. Also, I apologize for any light glare in the background. My windows are open. It's for my plants. I don't want to shut them. Um, besides, it's not about me. It's about this guy. So. I've had this begonia for several years and I can show you pictures of what it used to look like. It used to be super small, only like a few little leaves, a few stem cuttings. And now it's gone crazy. Um, I will insert some footage here showing you just how big this plant is. Alright, so ignore if it's kind of messy. I keep my plant supplies down there. But this is the begonia. It's the biggest plant in my entire collection. It stands very tall. I trained it or tried to train it vertically anyway on these and it's just gone insane so I'm about six foot tall and this guy I think the taller branches come up to about my chest this one is also a branch off of the plant and it's been going crazy climbing up the wall this plant really likes to go sideways so you'll kind of see that throughout there was a very big sideways branch this way but it wasn't getting enough light so it kind of died off I'll also be snipping off the dead in this video to kind of make it look nicer. So here's kind of an overview of the plant. It's got quite a few stems on it. It's popped out new stems for me. It still has new growth coming in. All kinds of wonderful things. It's just a crazy, crazy plant. It's trying to take over literally my entire room. Another thing that I wanted to show you is this plant over here, this other begonia. This is actually a baby coming off of the mother plant. I broke off a really tiny piece of the mother plant one day and I put this in water and now this cutting has gone crazy. It's my first begonia to ever bloom for me. Um, most of the flowers have already done their cycle. I'll show you what the seed pods look like. This is a really cool plant. I don't know what I'm going to do with the seeds yet. If I'm going to save them, try to grow them, but I just think it's the coolest thing. So this is what the begonia flowers look like now. I'm pretty sure all of the flowers have expired at this point. And then this is what's left behind, these little seed pods. And I think, not an expert, but I think that this is where the seeds are? No, this is where the seeds are. I don't know. I really like how they're shaped. They're kind of like a star shape, and it's really cool. I've never had one of my begonias flower for me before, so this is really like a neat thing to see. But, I mean, look at that. That's so cool. This one has gone crazy again this growing season. Just this year, it's gone insane. So this plant is actually one of the reasons why I think my water propagation will be just fine for this project. This is one that I used with that method and it, as happy as it can be, is blooming and there were so many amazing flowers. I'll show pictures right here. And it still has new growth. It's got its own little stem that popped out of the soil. It's just so happy. And I'm hoping that all the cuttings from this one will do just as well. And I'm going to replant them in the same pot and make it look nicer and fuller and just a more beautiful plant because I think it deserves it. And it's my baby. It's one of my favorite plants. So, yeah. Now that you've got an idea of kind of how big this begonia is, I have my little cheap shears that we're going to use. That was very close to my face. And they're all sterilized with some rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to get to cutting. I've got some glass bottles I'm going to put them in to propagate. I propagate by water, um, just because it's the easiest thing for me. And I've gotten cuttings off of this that I've made new plants out of before using water propagation. So that's the route that I'm going to be going to today, because it's what I know. Um, but I will take you through the whole process. And then one more thing before I get started. I am no expert. Again, this is just what I've done before my experience. I'm a very novice indoor gardener. I've had this plant for a few years, but it's one of the only plants that I've really had for that long. I've got lots of other plants in here that I'll eventually show, but I just do my best. 
once again, I just wanted to say I'm no expert. I just do what works for me um, and what has worked for me in the past. And if you have any other advice, definitely share it. I would love to talk to you about plants. I love talking about plants. And I guess just do your research if you're going to do anything. And yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along with my little project and hopefully it all works out. The first thing I want to do is get rid of some of the dead in this plant. I apologize for the low lighting. We're kind of away from the windows right now. But I've got a couple of shoots I didn't do so well due to light. We've got like a dead leaf here, um, a little friend. But yeah, I just plan on snipping off some of the dead. Again, ignore this, this is all my planting supplies. Um, I just wanna clean this guy up and hopefully start trimming. Okay, so this is the scary part. This is where I start like actually cutting and it terrifies me. Oh, that's, oh my heart. First cut is done. I'm dying on the inside. I just, I like watching them grow. I'm so proud of them. And then cutting it off, I just, I feel sad. I'm going to remove these two leaves here on the bottom because this is a node and this is going to be another node. So once it gets put in the water, the root should grow from here. But yeah, there's the first cut. You'll have to excuse the fan noise and the state of my sink, but this is how all the cuttings are pretty much set up. I've got these little glass bottles and I've got it filled with some tap water, nothing special. I've got both nodes underneath the water. I did a bigger cutting for the first one because I wanted to just help settle my nerves. I wanted to make sure there was plenty of big leaves to soak up sunlight and gather energy. I wanted to make sure there was plenty of nodes to grow roots from. And yeah, this is pretty much how all of them are going to be set up and I'm going to keep cutting. So I just butchered the one that was going up this way and um... That physically hurt me. <laughs> this is why I've been putting this off so long. I just have such a hard time destroying this. So in total, I was able to cut about six more cuttings. This is the pile of leaves that had to be taken off in order for roots to grow. And this hurts so bad, but I want a more beautiful plant and one that's happier and bigger and more full and lush. So hopefully these guys do well. They're all kind of different sizes. There's some bigger ones, some smaller ones. I did this all really quickly. Sorry if I couldn't really show a whole lot of me cutting it because I don't have a tripod. That would be a good spot um, to show you everything. These are the cuttings. And I'm going to put these guys all in water now and hope for the best. I let some of it stay kind of wild. I think I'm going to readjust some of the staking and just kind of make like this guy that's over here um, stand up a little bit straighter. This was the one that was climbing up the wall, but I left the leaf on, so hopefully it stays nice and green. I try not to go too crazy, because again, I love this plant, but yeah, it's still kind of wild, but not as crazy. I'm going to go put those cuttings in water now. So excuse the noise of the fan in the background, but all of the cuttings have been put in their little bottles. It's kind of hard to see because they're kind of very close to each other. But I managed to grab exactly enough bottles for all of them. I don't know how. But there they are. They've got lots of potential and I'm really excited about it. Look at all the plant babies! I still don't know what I'm going to do with all of these leaves. It makes me sad to look at them. This is their new setup. Hopefully they grow roots soon. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, please hit like. If you want to see more plant videos, please hit subscribe. Hopefully, I'll be doing more plant videos. I love plants. I'm not guaranteeing how often I'll be posting because I work full time and I haven't posted in a hot minute anyway. Um, but I love plants and hope to do more videos about them. Anyway, I am awkward because I haven't filmed something in forever. I just wanted to show you guys this little milestone of mine. And I'm going to go watch some plant videos now and uh, chill out, calm down. Uh, see you guys in the next video, I guess. Bye!